In 2005, Ulrich Leonard Tull wrote a book called A New Earth. Um, who's Ulrich Leonard Tull, you might be asking? Well, it's um, Eckhart Tull. He stole the name Eckhart, very good marketing. Because most people in so-called spiritual circles will <coughs> have come across the name Meister Eckhart. So to adopt a name that's already known is very good marketing. Uh, but it's nothing else. So anyway, Ulrich Leonard Tull wrote this book and it's his second best-selling book after The Power of Now. Millions of people around the planet are desperate for a new Earth. Of course, they want a new Earth as long as it doesn't particularly d disturb their Earth. <laughs> so, these uh, stories of a new age are as old as humanity. When things get particularly bad, people just believe that by some magical act, things are going to get better. I'm old enough to remember the age of Aquarius. <laughs> Most people here will, won't either know about it or uh, haven't heard about it. In the 1960s, there was awareness that uh, in astrological terms we're moving from the age of, I think it was Pisces, into the age of Aquarius. And all everything was going to be great. Everybody would love each other. and There would be uh, equality and um, no more racial discrimination and all the rest of it. In fact, there was a even a song about it. Uh, this is the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Of course, it was all bullshit and nonsense. But, you know, at the time, people bought into it. And it seems that a lot of people have bought into the idea of a new Earth. Somehow, it's magically going to happen. There's going to be an Earth-wide spiritual awakening. No, there isn't. Next year, or next decade, will be pretty much the same as this decade, possibly worse, but, you know, no magical improvement in um, the, psychological, uh, the, the psychological condition of the planet, as far as human beings are concerned. We all want a new Earth that conforms with our own wishes. <laughs> It's so infantile, it's hardly worth commenting on, but I thought it did need commenting on. We want a new Earth that conforms to our own particular needs, and without any particular effort on our part. Look, since that book was written in 2005, there is greater inequality, I mean massively greater inequality. More idiot governments... I mean, I'm thinking particularly of the United Kingdom and the United States, um, which, by the way, are the score lowest on the literacy scale, um, as measured by the OECD, of all developed nations. So, you're going to get idiot governments if the population is composed of. Well, I'll let you finish the sentence. There's greater, much greater uh, consumption of antidepressants and anxiety medications. Because life is tougher. It's more unequal. It's tougher. To earn the same crust of bread, you have to work three times as hard. So maybe it is a new earth. It's just not the new earth that spiritual types um, contemplate on while they're doing their mindfulness. Uh, there's been a pandemic and there's more me, me, me. In the United Kingdom, for example, uh, I think approaching 200,000 people have died from the pandemic. 
it could have been a much lower number, uh, apart from the fact that they've got an idiot government. But nobody cares about the idiot government. They may well get in again. Uh, as long as house prices keep going up. As Margaret Thatcher, Prime Minister of Britain in the uh, 80s, and uh, well, mainly the 80s, said, um, there's no such thing as society. And in Britain, there is no longer any such thing as society. It's just lots of little people in their little houses watching the price of their house go up from one month to the next. Of course, it'll all come crashing down because interest rates have to go up at some point and they have started to go up in Britain. And then maybe there'll be a change of government because the house prices have fallen. <laughs> You'd have to live in Britain to understand the um, that kind of dynamic. Of course, house prices going up doesn't benefit anyone because what are you going to do? Sell your house and become homeless or downsize and realize a bit of cash? But the houses you downsize to have gone up in price as well. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about all of that. It's just that <coughs> the idiocracy in the world has gone up by some exponential factor. And this is our new earth. No signs of spiritual awakening. Apart from, of course, in spiritual circles where usually reasonably well-off people, not always, but usually, um, who've screwed over everybody else to make their little pile of money and are still very unhappy, go on weekend workshops or you know, week-long or whatever workshops uh, to learn to become mindful because you know, their life may be just this unbearable pile of crap horrible relationship with their partner, horrible relationship with their family, meaningless existence and so on. Uh, but they can be mindful while they're doing all that stuff. As I say, this is so hilarious. It's hardly worth talking about, but well, I don't know. People don't seem to see it for some reason. Here's the bottom line. Nothing will change for the better on this planet until people have the honesty to look at the nasty little instincts that are bubbling away inside them. And that's not going to happen. People want flattery. They want to be told that they are mindful, that they are kind and loving, and that they are sharing and that they are concerned about pollution and concerned about global heating. Of course, they don't do anything about it, but all the same, it's just words. Very, very few people are willing to look at the nasty little Nazi ha habits and instincts they've got inside themselves. Um, we want flattery. We don't want truth. And because the world's becoming more and more shallow, and the real part of people is more and more starved. So people will need their antidepressants and so on because the real part of them is is literally starving to death. There's no truth. There's no honesty. It's just look at me on Facebook. <laughs> you know, the, the degeneration of the planet, which uh, is something that Nietzsche talked about. Well, I'll mention that in a minute. Yeah, it's kind of well timed with Facebook and the the um, emergence of social media. Everybody on TikTok or Facebook or whatever, you know, people can't go out for a meal now without posting it on Facebook. In fact, I saw a press release the other day. You can now go out for a meal or go on a holiday or go to an airport without posting it on Facebook. Fucking amazing. Anyway, uh, Nietzsche foresaw the degeneration of the human race. <coughs> the mechanism is quite simple. Anybody who's exceptional is usually kind of 
murdered, not literally, but in terms of the, um, in terms of the what, in terms of the ability to thrive. Yeah, anybody who's exceptional, take Jesus Christ for example, who's going to go out there and speak some truth, or anybody who's exceptional who can see into things more deeply than most people, the mass of people are going to murder them. It's a bit like um, Zapfer. You know, his, uh, his short um, work called The Last Messiah. And right at the very end he says, yeah, The Last Messiah will tell people to stop breeding and they will kill him. Messiahs are always killed because the masses don't want to hear it. Um, so the people who are exceptional uh, just uh, don't thrive. So you get more and more idiots. <laughs> if you've seen Idiocracy, you'll, you'll understand the dynamics. If you haven't seen the movie Idiocracy, then it's worth watching. Um, so the exceptional are always persecuted by the masses. So this could be our new earth. More stupid and more violent. But that book, A New Earth, will keep selling to moderately well-heeled and very well-heeled middle-class types who've got no incentive to look at their real nature. They've, they've already fucked everybody over in their professional careers. And they've no desire to look at that. So they'll go to some workshop or something where somebody's telling them that they're, they can uh, awaken or become enlightened. Totally meaningless words. Lies. Um, uh, well, probably probably the best marketing messages that have ever been invented. Anyway, um, there will be no new earth because people will not, I mean, it's guaranteed, it's as guaranteed as the fact that you are going to die. Uh, people will not look at their real nature, intellectual honesty, as uh, Metzinger calls it. Intellectual honesty is a very, very rare thing. And so it's for individuals, just odd individuals, who... Um, have some level of honesty within them that can free themselves from all the nonsense that uh, constitutes daily life and for all the lies and the hypocrisy that cause a lot of suffering. It's not like these things are innocent. But there will be no new earth. So you better get used to the old earth and um, make the best job of it that you can. <laughs>